Snakes are some of the most feared animals on Earth. And for some people, it doesn't matter how many cute photos or funny nicknames you show them, they'll always run and scream when they see one. But would that still be the case for a snake that's so small that it's thinner than a strand of angel hair pasta? Whose mouth is so tiny that the only thing it can eat are the eggs of ants? This tiny snake isn't a hypothetical myth your therapist tells you about to get over your ophidiophobia, but a reality. And it isn't just unique because it's small. It has the bizarre ability to clone itself and even has a hidden weapon that I had no clue about until I was stabbed by it. This isn't some rare elusive animal that can only be found in a remote jungle. It's actually spreading all over the world and likely can be found in your own backyard. But to actually see one is easier said than done. And despite years of searching for snakes all over the US, it took me until my recent trip to the Philippines to finally lay my hands on this bizarre animal. I was invited to explore on a farm on the island of Luzon, specifically to dig through their stacked wood piles and look for any type of snake that I wouldn't be able to find back home. These are great places to look for reptiles taking shelter from the heat of the dry season, and it didn't take long to find juveniles like this little common wolf snake. These snakes are named after their dog-like teeth, which it was giving me a great demonstration of by chomping into my hand. But luckily these snakes are completely harmless and the bite felt more like Velcro sticking to my hand than anything else. These log piles can also hide larger snakes, and ones a lot more beautiful too. Ooh. That is a bronze back. That took a while, but there we go. Totally harmless. Look at that bright red tongue. Whew, I believe the Luzon bronze back. Look at how bright red that tongue is. And there we go. If you look at the pattern on him, you can actually see some blue. See the blue in between his scales? That is a gorgeous snake. That is our first legit snake of the trip. You can see how calm he is not willing to bite at all, completely harmless species, and one of the most common ones you'll find here in the Philippines. There we go, first legit snake of the Philippines, a bronzeback. And it wouldn't be the only species of bronzeback that I find on this trip. But sure, even though these snakes are objectively cute and beautiful, I can still see how they might still be big enough to give some people the heebie-jeebies. But under the smallest and most unassuming piece of wood I flipped that day was where I found the smallest and most unassuming snake on Earth. All right, this is a first for me. In my hands, looks like a worm or some disgusting little parasite, but believe it or not, this is actually a snake. This is a type of blind snake, and it is by far the smallest snake I have ever seen. Look at its face. Does it even have eyes? You know what? It doesn't even have eyes. Wow, that is amazing. First ever worm snake I've seen. Wow, I just saw its tail or its tongue flick out. Blind snakes are named so because of their highly reduced eyes, simply being two dark patches on its head that tell it the difference between light and dark. Instead of its eyes, it uses that forked tongue to find its way around, specifically to find ant and termite nests. While many animals would be afraid to take on a nest of venomous ants, this snake slithers straight into it and wolfs down their larvae and eggs, protected by a secretion it produces to deter the ants. But that defense doesn't really work on larger predators, and for them, it has a sneaky weapon that took me by surprise. Wow. What a weird, weird, you know what, at the end of its tail, I'm feeling this like stinging, and at the end of its tail it has a tiny little thorn that it's poking me with. I had no idea any of them had that defense. What a weird, weird creature. Now, believe it or not, this snake lays eggs. Something this tiny lays eggs, and the eggs are only about the size of a rice grain, so I couldn't even imagine finding one of those and even recognizing it would be an egg. This specifically is a Brahmini blind snake, a species that on average only grows four inches long, making it tied with a Barbados thread snake in being the smallest snake on earth. But unlike any other snake on earth, this species is completely unique for one reason. It's a female, and how can I tell? Because every single one on earth 
is a female. This species is parthenogenetic, meaning that it clones itself to reproduce and no males exist. In fact, it is the only species of snake on Earth that is entirely female. Because of its ability to reproduce without a mate, it's spreading all over the world. Individuals that happen to be living in flower pots or soil have been transported all over the world and have been able to single-handedly start their own mini populations. Although native to Southern Asia, you can now find this species all over America, Australia, and so many other places on Earth. Despite becoming the most widespread species of snake in the world because of our actions, they aren't known to really do any damage to native species and seem pretty harmless to ecosystems. What an incredible encounter with the smallest snake on Earth, which is one of only a few that are essentially blind. But ironically, the Philippines is also home to the snake with the single best vision on Earth, with the weirdest eyes of any snake. So keep a lookout for that video. And if you want to learn about another type of burrowing snake, this time with some incredibly potent venom, check out my video on the coral snake, and I'll see you guys next time.